I believe in asking questions. I believe every child has the right to an education. I believe in love and equality. I believe that every child is born good. I believe in selflessness. I believe in God's faithfulness. I believe that no one is born hating. <laughs> I believe in us. female from Cape Town, South Africa, currently on a gap year in London and Israel. My roots are in Lithuania, where my grandparents made the journey to escape anti-Semitism in Europe in the early 1950s. I was born and raised in good old London. I'm the oldest of four children and I'm the only girl. I was brought up in a dual faith household. My Muslim name, Kareem, gives away that side that comes from my father. Whilst most of my mum's family are Christian. Pakistani, but born, raised and stayed in London town. But no English than I'm a Londoner. <laughs> Two sisters, one brother, second oldest, home still with mother. Father passed away. Faith didn't mean much to me growing up. I used to attend both the church and a mosque. Well, I was brought up thinking the two were more or less the same. I'm inspired by the values of my family and my faith. Born on November 4, 1991. I was the first to be born into a Hindu family. God had so specially chosen for me. I grew up with a passion for drama. I'm now away from home, independent and free. It's been six months now, and already I can't wait to feel the humid warmth of my homeland. Singapore. Okay, fine. With our faith. I'm being created. Making things. They don't cancel each other out, and that's because they never had to. I've always been a bit of a traveller. I love exploring new cultures and different ways of life. And I love learning languages. I can't escape from the fact that I'm now a minority, trying to fit in a land with so many different cultural practices, which is great because I am here to feed my mind with new things. I closed my eyes for what felt like a moment, only to open them to find myself sitting down at Singapore Airport, waiting to board a plane to London. Maybe I would like to explore the world more. At first it was difficult. But as I got to know more people, I started to think, hey, cultural practices aside, we are all youngsters and we all feel similar things towards similar situations. It hurts to leave behind my entire identity. But knowing that I'm here doing what I love most, knowing that I'm here doing drama, makes this sacrifice seem so worth it. This is the essence of travelling. You meet new people and find out that these people feel and think just like you. I like that a lot. I love to learn from those around me. There are two mottos which I aspire to and believe in. One person can make a difference. And be the change that you want to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi. We all start and end on the day the same. At night, we rest. In the morning, we wake. <coughs> it's what happens in between that makes us and our fates unique. Thank <laughs> you. 
Warmth, invisible, calm, strangers, listening, whispers, light. Cycles. Familiar. Reverence. Peace. Third eye. Heart. Soul. Isolation. Focus, commitment, submission, love, forgiveness, greatness, connection. with a place for blossoming creativity, inclusive, accepting, and open, even if I'm feeling a little awkward or broken on my up, down, up, down journey of not knowing. <coughs> As I got older, I realized the through meaning of Elifitri. It wasn't only a day of celebration, it was a day of Forgiveness. When I was 15 or 16, my grandparents divorced. My grandfather was thrown out from the house, from my aunt's place. My, ma my grandmother was mad at him for all the mistakes that he did in the past. My aunt wouldn't even want him to be in the same house as him. Don't even let him visit him. Not even the same room with him. I believe that we are all each other's biggest teachers and can constantly grow from venturing inwards enough to brave those around us and say, hello, I am me. And who might you be? Whether turning to stranger or best friend can depend upon my mood and state of mind, though I tend to find myself returning to a fundamental way of being. Seeing myself and the other was born into a plethora of tribes and traditions, and our one essential mother unites us in compassion. I realized the celebration of forgiveness was all faith. God gave us this special day to reflect on our actions and to forgive people who continuously hit us. My child! Mama, is it? Is that you? Mama, look, your grandchild. You have married and had a child. Yes, she's beautiful. Oh, yes, she's beautiful. Is the father 
are exceptionally proud. I am exceptionally proud of Mama. I am so proud of her. I have never been so proud. And the father of Mama, Mama, I need your help. Mama, please, I need your help. Where, where is your self-respect? Where is your respect for me, this family, this community? I can't have you here. Mama, Mama, you can't say that I have nowhere to go, Mama. Please, nowhere to go. I can't have you here. You've chosen to shame my community. <coughs> Mama, don't say that. Please, go. Please, 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 please. Here. I can't. I'm sorry. Anybody want a good night tonight? This can be all yours. All yours. Come on, big boy. Anybody up for a good time? Come on. Anybody there? Come on. I'm all yours. What are you looking at? You think you're any better than this? What are your other options? I swear, if I had an alternative to this, I'd quit. <laughs> You know what? Just like you, we're all victims of circumstance!
My God, I do not know how to pray. I have only the feelings of my heart, the stirrings in my soul, and these impoverished words. Will they suffice this day? They keep you a fire my mind wandering, wandering about the journey I have made to reach this moment in time. of the burdens that I carry and the rewards that have come my way. I remember the joy that I've known but the times my vision has failed. Swept along by the currents of my desire, I am adrift in this midst of life. The psalmist says, be still and know that I'm gone. So still, my mind as I wait for you. Teach me to hear the silence, your voice in me. This is my prayer today, the prayer of one who does not know how to pray. My body is weak, my thoughts distracted. My heart awash with hopes unfulfilled. Let my honesty now be my true devotion to you. Hear, hear me now. now, in the stillness. And may a still, small voice echo within, and bring my spirit peace. Yes, the issue is, yes, in the nose. Oh, 
mind and knowledge, we are called to use it to improve the lives of others. People won't listen to you if you keep talking about how different you are. Everyone is different, but everyone is the same too. Essentially, we are people with the ability to love and think. Hate and discrimination are all acts of conformity and social differences, which is stupid, right? <laughs> Men are all equal. God made us all equal. We judge too much, we feel too little. As women of faith, how am I called to help those in need? Whether they be my friends, my family, or maybe even strangers. Why should anyone have to suffer alone? Why should anyone have to suffer in silence? I believe in asking questions. I believe the answers begin in education and action. I believe in love and equality. I believe that every child is born good. I believe in selflessness. <coughs> I believe in God's faithfulness. I believe that no one is born hating. I believe in us. <laughs> 